happens. There you go. We're talking about stretching right now, specifically Kihara, where stretching is the exercise. Kelsey Andrews from Astenia Health and High Performance. I said it properly. Mm -hmm. Astenia, the only place in the city, by the way, that's certified to offer Kihara training. Um, and and Kihara, talk about this, Kelsey. It's it's. It, it's not pumping iron or anything like that. No, it's really different. It's an innovative form of uh, flexibility training. Okay. So it was created in the United States. I got introduced to it by our good friend and golden girl, Haley Wickenheiser. Oh, yeah, so I've heard of her. Yeah. She kidnapped me, took me to Florida, uh, got certified, came back, and then basically developed the Calgary scene from cool. there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and, and Nate and Alex are kind of doing a couple of yes. things right now. So, so how does it work? Like, I understand the stretching component and mm -hmm. that type of thing, because we've all heard of that. But yes. how does the resistance part kind of play okay. into this? Yeah. So basically what happens when we start a session, the first thing that we do is we like to warm the tissues up. Sure. Um, we do that by a, a technique called mashing, which we're not going to demonstrate today, but we sure. like to say it. So the next <laughs> thing we do is uh, we basically strength train the muscles. So okay. think about going to the gym and doing like a hamstring curl mm -hmm. in a machine. That's essentially what Alex is doing with Nathan right now. So Alex is the machine. Okay. Nathan is elongating his hamstring, and then he's contracting down, and Alex is providing resistance. I see. Okay. Once we do that three or four times, the body connects to, to the brain, and then we move into the Kihara. So what happens in Kihara, Alex is now going to get Nathan to continue to contract his heel towards his bum. Yeah. And Alex uses his body to then elongate Nathan while Nathan tries to contract the muscle. Oh, so he's, so so he's, he's pulling back while Alex is and pushing. Al exactly. Okay. And I what see. that does is it simultaneously lengthens and strengthens the muscle. Wow. So um, when you're thinking of uh, other flexibility techniques, lots of times it's passive. Sure. You'll kind of reach for your toes, you hang out, you kind of wait for yourself to relax, and then, you know, over time you get more flexible. Yeah. With this technique, because it's active, you become instantaneously more flexible. Wow, that must yeah. be great for, you know, preventing injuries and it's, things like that, it's right? It's huge. The big, the big example we like to give, especially in Calgary, is, mm -hmm. you know, we've had a big snowfall, it got icy, you walk out, you hit the ice and your leg kicks out sure. underneath you. When you train in Kihara, you have the ability, you have the strength in that long range to then pull yourself back up and recover. No problem. No problem. That's if, cool. If you don't train in Kihara, oftentimes you'll go like this and then you're you pull your on your butt. You can also put like the you inside of your leg and exactly. all that stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And so you can do this for any muscle group, right? Exactly. Like Alex can do provide the resistance for whatever Nate yep. needs to work on, right? Exactly. So okay. we do lower body and upper body techniques. Alex was just doing the glute rotation. Yeah. We're now going to work into a move called wheel rotation, oh, I which see. is fantastic for anyone that throws, anyone that golfs, mm -hmm. tennis, any racket sport. Um, people that have a really difficult time lifting their arms over their head, um, really warms up the rotator cuff, and then obviously gets that, that range in, into internal rotation cool. in the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, what, what's this board, Kelsey, This, yeah, this is for? the yeah. stretching board. So we like to use this um, yeah. in our stretching technique. We'll put it down, and we'll actually lock the body into a really static position. Okay. And the reason why we do that is because when people are really inflexible, if you go and try to lift their leg up, their body's going to compensate to give themselves range. Sure, right? sure. We're really good cheaters, naturally, yeah, yeah. as humans. So this board straps people down and secures them so that when we stretch that hamstring or that quad, it's pure. It's and isolated we, to it's the one. It's isolated, okay. yeah. I we see. get a really uh, true idea of what their, their range is. Cool. Yeah. Okay, tell us about, uh, you're doing something on Sunday, right? Kind we of a are. workshop. What is that yeah, all about? Yeah, the workshop on Sunday, we're doing a small workshop from 4 until 5 p.m. It's actually a charity workshop uh, to Venice to benefit the typhoon victims of Typhoon nice, Haiyan. Nice. Um, it's at the Gracie Baja Gym from 1 until 5. Donations are 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. And from 4 until 5, you can come, and we're going to do a one-hour Kihara resistance stretching workshop. Right on. So if you're keen, that one's right away. And then we have another one in March, uh, March 15th, at our location on Center Street. Cool. And, and do you guys have a website if anyone we wants do. to check out Stenia? www.steniahealth.ca. Steniahealth, one word, dot .ca. .ca. Yeah, or you can call us at 403-238-0001. There you go. All the information for all of our workshops, not only key, uh, resistance stretching like this, but we'll actually teach you and certify you. Cool. It's all online. There yeah. you go. Interesting stuff. Kihara, who knew?